welcome back to Young and Hungry. This is Sir Andy here. So tonight, it's gonna be a short video, but I, it's gonna be a special one that I wanna give to you guys. Um, we're gonna have dinner. I already made a reservation for 8.30. It's about seven o'clock right now. So the dinner is gonna be at the Court of Two Sisters. It's one of the most charming, the most elegant restaurant here um, in New Orleans, you know, anywhere in the French Quarter area. The building that the restaurant is located at has been around for probably 250 years since the 1723 and it's been through a lot and there's a lot of like urban legends about it and urban myth that we got to check out tonight so let's go check it out So we just got our table at a restaurant. It's, it's wonderful. You can see the Devil's Wishing Well right behind me. It's a legendary um, well here in this uh, French Quarter. Uh, it's rumored that the the voodoo queen Marie Laveau she actually like at some point practiced her voodoo spells and her voodoo rituals here at the well. So I decided to get the chef's menu option here, which is forty dollars for three courses. Uh, you got first course, you know, either a turtle soup escargot or courtyard salad. I picked the turtle soup and for the second course I was debating between the tenderloin and the uh, Louisiana pecan crusted catfish. I, I kind of really wanted the beef tenderloin though but he talked me into the catfish and said it's, it's their newest item on the menu and it looks good on camera and it, it tastes amazing too. That's what he said. He's been here for 10 years so I'm going to trust him. And the third course which is the dessert is going to be banana foster and a fun day table side. I don't know about you, but this is gonna be great. I, I have a feeling, man. It's gonna be one of the greatest meals of my life. I mean, the, the setting, you know, with the wishing well, the devil's wishing well right behind us. I mean, with everything that this restaurant has been known for, they've been doing it for over 125 years. They're no, they know what they're doing. So, let's check the food out. Man of the hour. That looks so good. What is this here? The Bayou Bash. The Bayou Bash. The Southern Comfort, Food Punch, and Cabernet Wine. Having a wine. All right. Sure look forward to it. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Okay. I'll be right back at your turn soon. Yep. All right. We're gonna try out their signature drink here, the Bayou Bash. So on their napkin, it they have their own design napkin. It's pretty cool with their, you know, the, the logo on the back. And it, it tells the origin of the cocktail, but I'm not too sure if this is the one that I just got. This is the, the, the recipe and the, the origin story for not a cocktail, I guess. That's not it. But it doesn't matter. I want to give it a try right now. Oh. Oh, it's kind of sweet. A little bit citrusy. Oh, that, that red wine is really coming through. Wow. Wow, that's so good. It's like... A really light Bloody Mary. It's like a super light Bloody Mary. Wow. Wow, this is awesome. All right, the turtle soup is here. The turtle soup is here. It's coming to present it to you. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, you're going to make it table side. Oh, okay. yes. Oh. So, lemon. A little bit of onion, okay. Turtle soup. What kind of turtle it is, do you know? Louisiana snapping turtle soup. Oh, it's a snapping turtle. Yes, sir. Look at that. And last but not least, a little sherry. A little sherry. Look at that, beautiful. Enjoy. Okay, thank you very much. You're welcome. <laughs> do you know what's in the soup? Is that a turtle? Uh, 
little sherry, lemon, garlic, right. and it's made with butter. That that black, all the turtle meat. That dark that brought is like the roux, right? Yeah, that's the roux. That's the dark roux. Yeah. Right. Cool. So you're awesome. going to see slices of the turtle in there too. All right, so awesome. All right, I look forward to it. I've never had in your turtle meat. Oh, you're going to love this. <laughs> love this. I love your mask, man. Thank you. I appreciate <laughs> it. <laughs> All right, the, the turtle sherry soup it just arrived. This is an appetizer for the day. Oh, uh, man. I, think, I guess this is the soup spoon right here. Uh, right? Right? Yeah, it's round. It, I think it's better for soup. Looks like an, what? Looks like an ice cream uh, spoon. Alright, let's give it a try. Oh, it's thick. It's thick, man. Wow. It's so thick. I don't think I can handle it. Oh, it's, look at this dark roux. It smells very nutty. Wow. But very light at the same time. I know, like, this is gonna be a one, a one heck of a strong soup. Alright, mix it up a little. Because you put a little bit of onion and uh, a piece of you know lemon down below, so let's mix it up. This is the piece of lemon right here. Alright, let's give it a try. <laughs> mm, the turtle is shredded. <clears throat> so I guess this is like the turtle meat is it very similar to shredded chicken. It's stringy. Oh, the soup is very nutty. It's strong, bold flavor. A little bit spicy. Has a little of that, you know, Louisiana, Louisiana, you know, spicy kick to it. <clears throat> wow. I can taste the, the the citrus in there. Very nutty. Wow, there's a lot of lot of turtle meat though. Mmm. Just look at this. Wow. It's so it's so rich, it's so decadent. It's not fatty at all. In a way it's a very strong decadent, but yet it's very very lean soup. You, you know what I mean. It doesn't taste fatty, it doesn't taste greasy. Wow. Mmm. Turtle, man. Who would have known? Turtle tastes so good. Look at that rich color. Wow. I swear to God, if they put chicken in here, I wouldn't even... No, I, I wouldn't be able to tell. They said it's turtle, so yep, it's a turtle. Wow, my god. Wow. It is so light. This is like my my seventh, eighth spoon already, but it was still real. Still feels really light. I feel like I can eat a whole bowl of this with rice, man. Where's the rice, you know? Where's the rice? Mmm. Just incredible. Look at that. Wow. Yeah, man. This with a bowl of white rice, oh my god, it would go so that go down so well. Mmm. Sorry, proper manners. You scoop away. From here. You scoop away, you don't scoop in. Oh, and second thing, scoop away, and you bring the spoon to your mouth. You don't bring your mouth to the spoon.
Ugh, who cares anymore? Mmm. Wow, that was fantastic. I mean, just look at this. I wish I had a piece of bread. I would totally lick this plate clean. Wow. Wow, that's soup, man. <laughs> and it's gone. So good. Yo, this is the thing in like in Vietnam or even in, in Asia. Once you're done with a soup or once you're done with a spoon, with a communal spoon that everybody used to like get the food from the plate to their own bowl, you turn it face down. Push it away. And you're done. Alright, what's the next course? The next course is our corn crusted catfish. Alright, let's do it. That soup was amazing, by the way. First time having turtle. It was like a really, uh, like a stringy chicken. Yeah, like <clears throat> Yeah. Mm. Absolutely. Look at that. So that's your squash potatoes. Right. Your deep fried catfish with your glazed bacon. Oh, right. And top it off. Awesome. Woo. Whoa. Thank you so much. No I mean, food is right. Oh, the plate is hot too. Woo. Plate is hot. You know they do it right here every time. I mean, just look at this. This is Louisiana, Louisiana pecan crusted uh, catfish. Oh man, that looks so good. I see a, a, a huge strip of bacon right there. This huge piece of you know deep fried catfish. Look at that batter. Oh, crunchy. I can, I can tell. Right? Look at that squash, man. I can smell the pecan. Oh man, it's really, really nice. Oh. Oh, it smells like churro. What's going on? <coughs> Alright, let's give it a try. I don't know if you can hear the cross on this thing. <laughs> Alright, outside in, right? Outside in. Well, these two, these two forks are the same size. I guess you know they don't really matter anymore. I'm gonna definitely gonna try out the, the sauce here first. Oh, it's sweet. It's like a diluted pecan syrup. Is that a thing, or uh, this is like diluted honey? Mmm, it's so sweet. All right, let's try out the. The squash. Oh. oh my god. Oh. Oh. It's like a squash puree and it's so smooth. It's butter smooth. It's even smoother than butter. Oh, wow. It's sweet from that syrup, but it's also you can taste that natural sweetness of the squash. Wow. Nutty, squashy, is that a thing? I can taste a little bit of tamarind in there for some reason. Yes, I can taste a hint of tamarind. Wow, it's incredible. Oh, we gotta go in for this. Oh man, it cuts right through. Look at this piece, man. See, man? It's just unfair sometimes.
At some point, it's just unfair. It's unfair that some people can have great skill at cooking, at bringing these like catfish. It's a, it's a really, it's a common ingredient, common cheap ingredient. <clears throat> but to elevate it on top of this this bed of puree, squash puree, it's just incredible. Oh my god. This catfish died a very happy life. It didn't die in vain at all. Mmm. Oh my god, that's squash now. Yeah. Look how white this piece of fish is. It's so beautiful. It's white, it's fluffy. It's soft and tender and sweet. No gamey smell, no fishy smell at all. It's just light. And it has a great texture when you bite into it. It doesn't thaw apart it like, like, you know, like frozen fish uh, does sometimes. It, ha it has a texture when you bite into it. It's just separate into smaller pieces. And it helps you up. Well, I don't know what I'm talking about. I have no idea what I'm talking about. But this man, still good. Buy you bash. My God, what a great recommendation. I usually don't have catfish a lot. If I had a choice between beef tenderloin and catfish, I would always, almost always pick beef tenderloin because I love beef. But you cannot beat this. Man, I'm so glad I listened to the waiter. What a recommendation. Mmm. -hmm. Look at this piece of bacon. Mmm. Mmm. Well, it's been glazed in, uh, in sugar. Sweet on the outside, a little bit salty and smoky on the inside. Crispy. Not overly salty at all. Wow. So good. I think it really helps balancing that, um, that sweetness of the syrup and of that squash puree. What an incredible combination, wow. Sorry, but I gotta call it quit. <clears throat> well, it didn't look like a lot of food, but it sure was a lot of food. That squash fell. Oh man, I'm stuffed. Wow, that was so good. <coughs> Incredible. We have brown sugar, brown sugar, cinnamon, cut up bananas, right. bananas liqueur, New Orleans bourbon to flame it. Right. No problem, let me get that started. I'm so glad I listened to you. Thank you, thank you. I wow. appreciate it. Bananas liqueur, drop that in there. I'm basically making a banana shirt. Mm. 
Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to flame it up. Put the fire in the air. Let it get hot for you. Super hot, and I'm gonna flame it up. And do the magic right here. You have to do the magic right here. That's what it says right now. Right here. One, two, three, four. Oh, look at that. Last but not least, we scoot this. No problem. Enjoy. All right. <laughs> All right, it's the last course. Banana Foster Flambe table side. I know it's gotta be good. I mean, dessert is one of my favorite <clears throat> part of the meal. I know it's gonna be good. So let's try the, this sugar syrup. Oh, sweet, cinnamony, milky, a little bit fatty, not overly fatty, no oil at all. You can kind of taste the liquor. Wow. But the ice cream melted already. Man. There's like only a small chunk of it. Mmm. Banana. The banana is obviously fresh. Wow. Wow, it makes you feel so good. Like it washes away the, the heaviness of the entree <clears> or <throat> whatever you ate before that. Wow. Mmm. Some banana. Small piece of ice cream. But I'm also really enjoying the china that they have here. Wow. <clears throat> Small, sturdy. It looks really cute and quaint. Beautiful. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. The fresh, ripe banana. It's just so good. I feel like you can put banana on anything, it would like, it would be good, you know? <clears throat> wow. What's How the damage? It was incredible, what's the damage? You should have filled out the card for me, let me know what you thought of me. <clears throat> yeah, absolutely. Love yeah. You. Robert, right? Yes, sir. All right, Robert. Thank you. And <clears throat> that's it for dinner, guys. It was so good. It was only $40 for dinner. I know it's a lot of money, too. Like, I... It, it, to me, I feel like it's, it's an investment. It's a way to give back, to share my experience with you. And it's... The only way to share like this experience with you is that is that I gotta spend the forty bucks. <clears throat> it's an investment that I'm 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 trying to build here uh, with you guys, and my viewers. Hopefully, you will support this channel. So now, um, Robert has requested me to fill out you know the comment form. 
uh, for him, I would gladly do so. He was an incredible waiter. He was so nice, just a genuine person overall. I would love to give him some, some really good feedback just to uh, maybe help him out in any way that I can. <clears throat> So after this, you know, we're gonna head out and we are gonna go to Bourbon Street and check out the nightlife over there. It, it is the main party street here. It's just the next street over. So we're on Royal Street. And then Bourbon is just the next street over. So we're gonna go over there right now. So I'll see you in a little bit, yeah? Thank you. Oh man. Dinner was amazing. I'm so glad I did that. Oh, it's easily one of the best meals of my life. I am stuffed now, so let's go get a drink. Let's go to Bourbon Street and check out the main party street of New Orleans and French Quarter. Let's go. Alright, that's it for today's video. I'm just gonna go grab a beer and uh, chill for the rest of the night. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like and give it a thumbs up. Um, share it to your friends and family. If you're gonna help me out by subscribing to the channel, I would really appreciate that. And always remember, good luck with everything. Do not give up, stay young, stay hungry. I'll see you on the next one, yeah?